exchange. It went down to. After a 5-2 victory, and you're able to kind of get that one in the left-hand column. You had said in the pregame show we talked to you earlier, just kind of changing that culture about getting these guys to win in the middle of the innings. Uh, got an awfully close there, especially after Sportman wound up hitting that two-run home run. How would you guys pull through? We, we, the run that we scored later, I think it was the seventh inning, that was a real big run yeah, for us. Um, you know, we wanted to kick it away a little bit in the middle innings again. The bats went away for a couple innings, and we had a couple plays in the field that could have gone badly for us. But, you know, Freddie Andahar did a really good, that was the real, yeah. you know, him coming in, and he's a fearless kid. He came in and did a good job. That settled it back down for us. Well, in that inning, uh, Estev is wanting to boot in that ball, and then you normally don't get a second chance, and it goes right back to him. And, yeah. you know, he bobbles it just a little bit and winds up coming up with a big yeah. play. But um, what did you say to him when he came back in the dugout? Coach Delaney said, why the <laughs> heck didn't you just, just, just toss the ball to Trey yeah. in the first place? He's one of the guys that I think the more he yeah. makes those plays and trusts that he's going to do it, trusts he's going to make the right decision, you know, he, he's, he's going to be much better as the season goes. I know this is just one victory. You guys are one and six now, but how does a game like this where you had to deal with adversity, they pull within one run, you get the insurance runs, you come up with a victory. How does this help you going into, you know, Manhattan, Kansas, you know, coming up in a couple days? I think if you look, you know, not just our program, but I can think of the men's soccer program this fall and our men's basketball team this winter. You know, they played a lot of tight games, uh, you know, middle of the season for some, for them a little bit, but for us, we're playing a lot of tight early on games. You lose some, but I think the more of those tight games you play, the more accustomed you get to playing in those situations. So we, we I, I expect we'll have the type of su success they had at the end where they started to get more of those wins when they're in tight spots. So I know it's just, you know, a couple minutes removed, but your first victory as a head coach, do you feel like a big monkey off your back? Not really. I mean, I, I we, we knew we were going to win eventually, but it's, uh, it's good. I think for the guys, it's probably it's more of a monkey off their back than it is for us. You know, they, the coaching staff believes in what we're doing, and believes in the players, and they, they, you know, same thing I told you pregame. It, when they do it, they're going to do it more. Yeah. And whether it's making a play or finishing a game or making a big pitch. All right, that's Justin Blood, the first year head coach for the Hartford Hawks. Gets his first victory. The team will travel on the road to Manhattan, Kansas. Stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com. We'll be back in town next Tuesday when the Minutemen at UMass come into town.